This is the Airbus A380-800, the largest passenger aircraft in the world. This flying city features an expansive two-deck cabin designed to provide unprecedented comfort in space on long-haul routes. A cruise speed of Mach 0.85 and a maximum range of 8,000 nautical miles or 14,815 kilometers. Conceived in the late 1980s and officially launched in the early 2000s, the A380-800 was Airbus's ambitious response to growing global air travel demand and a strategic move to compete directly with Boeing's 747, which had dominated the very large aircraft segment for decades. In 2000, Airbus formally launched the A380 program with 50 firm orders from six initial customers, including Singapore Airlines, Emirates, and Qantas. The development required massive investment in research, engineering, and infrastructure. Airbus spent over $25 billion on the project, involving over 1,500 suppliers across 30 countries. After receiving type certification in December 2006, the A380-800 entered commercial service with Singapore Airlines on October 25, 2007, on the Singapore-Sydney route. This landmark flight marked a new era in aviation, as the aircraft introduced unprecedented levels of comfort and capacity. Stay with us till the end of the video, because here is everything you need to know about the Airbus A380-800. Stepping inside, the plane features impressive cabin dimensions. The main deck has a width of approximately 21.6 feet or 6.58 meters, while the upper deck measures about 19.4 feet or 5.92 meters, an extraordinary width that allows for spacious cabin layouts. The cabin height on the main deck is 8.33 feet or 2.54 meters, and on the upper deck, it's slightly lower at 7.9 feet or 2.41 meters. The A380-800 can accommodate a range of configurations, but a typical layout includes first class, business class, premium economy, and economy class. In first class, the aircraft usually offers between eight to 14 seats, typically located at the front of either the main deck or the upper deck. Business class seats range from 60 to 90 and are generally positioned on the upper deck. Premium economy seating, which varies between 40 and 70 seats, is typically located at the rear of the upper deck. Economy class is the most numerous, with 350 to 450 seats spread across both decks, with the majority on the main deck. In a standard configuration, the A380-800 can carry around 555 passengers, although it is certified to accommodate up to 853 passengers in an all-economy layout. Overhead bin space is generous. The bins on the main deck are larger than those on the upper deck due to the wider fuselage providing ample space for carry-on luggage, while the upper deck bins are slightly smaller but still accommodate standard size carry-ons comfortably. Now, let's talk about seat dimensions, pitch, and comfort. In first class, seats typically measure between 21 and 23 inches, or 53 and 58 centimeters wide, with a pitch that can extend to 80 to 90 inches, or 203 to 229 centimeters, offering fully flat beds and private suites. Business class seats generally range from 20 to 22 inches, or 51 to 56 centimeters wide, with a pitch of 60 to 80 inches, or 152 to 203 centimeters, also providing lie flat beds. The upper deck configuration often offers a 121 or 222 layout, ensuring direct aisle access. Premium economy seats measure about 18 to 19 inches, or 46 to 48 centimeters wide, with a pitch of 38 to 42 inches, or 97 to 107 centimeters, providing a significant upgrade from standard economy class with extra legroom and recline. In economy class, seat width varies between 17.5 and 18 inches, or 44 and 46 centimeters, with a pitch of 31 to 34 inches, or 79 to 86 centimeters, which is spacious compared to many other aircraft. The 343 or 242 configurations make efficient use of the wide body, balancing capacity with comfort. Despite the high density layout in economy class, the A380-800 is renowned for offering one of the most comfortable long haul economy experiences due to the generous seat pitch and the cabin's spacious feel. The plane is equipped with advanced in-flight entertainment systems, typically featuring high resolution screens, on-demand movies, TV shows, music, and games.
In first and business class, screens range from 15 to 23 inches or 38 to 58 centimeters, while premium economy and economy screens are 10 to 13 inches or 25 to 33 centimeters. Most airlines provide Wi-Fi connectivity and the IFE systems are usually powered by Panasonic or THALS, ensuring reliability and a broad selection of content. The A38800 utilizes advanced LED lighting systems capable of simulating natural daylight cycles, which help mitigate the effects of jet lag. The lighting smoothly transitions between different phases of flight, such as boarding, meal service, and sleep periods, and mood lighting can be adjusted across the cabin to create a calming ambiance tailored to the time of day and cabin class. One of the standout features is its remarkably quiet cabin. Thanks to advanced noise insulation materials in the four engine configuration, cabin noise levels are reduced to about 52 decibels during cruise, which is significantly quieter than other wide body aircraft. Vibration is also minimized due to the robust construction and advanced aerodynamics. The plane features a cabin pressurization system that maintains an altitude equivalent of around 5,000 to 6,000 feet, lower than the industry standard of 7,500 to 8,000 feet, which helps a ton in decreasing fatigue and discomfort. Air circulation is highly efficient, with the entire cabin air refreshed every two to three minutes using HEPA filters that remove 99% of airborne particles, and the dual zone system allows different parts of the aircraft to be independently controlled, providing optimal comfort in each cabin. And finally, lavatories vary in size and features depending on the cabin class. First class lavatories are often spacious, with some even featuring luxury amenities such as showers on certain airlines like Emirates and high-end toiletries. Business class lavatories are also larger than average, with thoughtful touches such as larger mirrors, ample counter space, and superior fixtures. Economy class lavatories, while smaller, benefit from modern design, sensor activated taps, and effective odor control systems. Now, let's step into the cockpit. The A38800 follows Airbus's signature cockpit commonality philosophy, allowing pilots who are type rated on other Airbus aircraft, such as the A320 family, or the A330 and A340, to transition with minimal additional training. The cockpit is spacious with a focus on ergonomic design, ensuring that pilots can operate the aircraft efficiently, even on ultra long haul flights. The layout is a fully digital glass cockpit with eight large LCD displays, each measuring 15 inches. These screens provide pilots with critical flight information, system status, navigation data, and electronic checklists. The PFDs and NDs are positioned directly in front of each pilot providing essential flight data and situational awareness. Below the main screens, the eCam displays system status, alerts, and checklists. A notable feature of the cockpit is its side stick controllers, a hallmark of Airbus aircraft. These side sticks replace the traditional control yoke and are linked to the fly-by-wire system. The FBW architecture translates pilot inputs into electronic signals that are sent to the flight control computers which then adjusts the control surfaces accordingly. This system not only saves weight and reduces pilot fatigue, but also allows for envelope protection, preventing the aircraft from exceeding its operational limits. The A38800 is equipped with one of the most sophisticated avionics suites ever developed for a commercial airliner. At the heart of the suite is the integrated modular avionics system, which consolidates multiple avionics functions into fewer, more capable computers. This modular approach reduces weight and complexity while improving reliability. The IMA system is responsible for flight management, autopilot functions, communication, and monitoring of the plane's systems. The A38800's fly-by-wire system is the most advanced iteration of Airbus's FBW technology. It features five flight control computers, three primary and two secondaries, that provide redundancy and ensure system reliability. The system supports flight envelope protection, which includes protections against excessive bank angles, stalls, and overspeed conditions. It also provides a soft deton at 33 degrees of bank, nudging pilots to keep the aircraft within safe limits while still allowing manual override if necessary. Another key component is the flight management system, which integrates navigation, performance, 
and guidance functions into a centralized system. The FMS allows for precise fuel management, optimized flight paths and efficient descent profile source subfiles, reducing fuel burn and emissions. The FMS is linked to the ACARS, enabling real-time communication with ground stations for updates on weather, route changes, and other critical information. The A38800 is equipped with a comprehensive suite of navigation and communication systems. The MMR integrates several functions, including GPS, ILS, and MLS, providing highly accurate positioning data. The plane also uses the GNSS for precision approaches, enabling operations in low visibility conditions at airports equipped with SBAS. The communication systems include dual HF and VHF radios, as well as SECOM capabilities, allowing for seamless communication over the oceanic and polar regions. The cockpit voice recorder and flight data recorder are integrated into the avionics suite, ensuring compliance with international safety regulations. The autopilot system is highly advanced, capable of handling all phases of flight from takeoff to landing, including auto land in low visibility conditions. The system can manage complex approach procedures, including category 3B approaches, where the decision height can be as low as 50 feet or 15 meters, and visibility may be down to 250 feet or 75 meters. The autopilot is integrated with the flight control laws, which Airbus has refined over decades of fly-by-wire development. These laws are divided into normal, alternate, direct, and mechanical backup modes, each offering different levels of automation and protection based on the aircraft's status. In normal law, the system provides full envelope protection, including automatic pitch trim and bank angle protection. In alternate law, the protections are reduced, but the system still maintains basic flight stability. Direct law removes all protections, giving the pilots direct control over the plane's control surfaces, while mechanical backup provides limited control in the event of a complete failure of the electronic systems. Some A380 cockpits are equipped with a heads-up display that provides essential flight data directly in the pilot's line of sight, improving situational awareness, especially during takeoff, landing, and low visibility operations. The HUD displays key information such as speed, altitude, heading, and flight path vector, enabling pilots to keep their eyes outside the cockpit while maintaining full awareness of the aircraft's status. The cockpit also features an electronic flight bag, which replaces traditional paper charts and manuals with digital versions. The EFB is integrated with the avionics, allowing for real-time updates to charts, weather information, and note AMs, which not only reduces the physical workload on pilots, but also ensures that they have the most up-to-date information at their fingertips. The cockpit is equipped with an advanced environmental control system that maintains a comfortable working environment for the flight crew, even during extended long-haul operations, controlling temperature, humidity, and cabin pressurization. And finally, talking about safety, the aircraft is equipped with the latest TAWS and TCAS, which provide real-time alerts to potential threats. While the EG PWS uses a worldwide terrain database to alert pilots to possible ground collisions, even in mountainous areas, and the predictive wind shear detection warns pilots of dangerous wind shear conditions well in advance, allowing them to take corrective action. Now, let's talk about the engine, performance specifications, and how it flies. The Airbus A3-8800 is powered by four high-thrust engines designed for efficiency and performance. Depending on the airline's preference, these power plants come in two versions, the Rolls-Royce Trent 970 series or the Engine Alliance GP 7270 series, both of which are engineered to deliver exceptional thrust while meeting rigorous fuel efficiency and noise standards. The Rolls-Royce Trent 900 engines generate up to 80,000 pounds force of thrust per engine. They are equipped with advanced three-stage fans and high-pressure compressors, enabling them to produce high thrust with lower emissions. The Engine Alliance GP 7200 series delivers a similar thrust output boasting an optimized turbine architecture that enhances efficiency. These engines also feature Full Authority Digital Engine Control, or FADEC, which provides precise monitoring and control over engine performance throughout the flight. The massive thrust provided by these engines is essential given the aircraft's substantial maximum takeoff weight, which can reach up to 1,268,000 pounds or 575,000 kilograms. 
This heavy lift capability allows the plane to carry a maximum payload of around 185,000 pounds or 84,000 kilograms, making it a valuable asset for airlines seeking to maximize passenger and cargo capacity over long-haul routes. Despite its size, the plane requires a surprisingly modest takeoff distance of about 9,800 feet or 3,000 meters at MTO. This achievement results from the powerful engines, high lift generating wings, and advanced landing gear system, which distribute the weight across 22 wheels, minimizing runway stress. Once airborne, the aircraft climbs at a rate per minute of up to 3,000 feet or 914 meters under standard conditions, steadily reaching its maximum service ceiling of 43,100 feet or 13,140 meters. The cruise speed is typically Mach 0.85, translating to about 490 knots. In terms of range, the plane is designed to cover up to 8,000 nautical miles, which is 9,200 miles or 14,815 kilometers nonstop. This range allows airlines to connect high traffic international destinations such as Dubai, Los Angeles, Singapore, London, and Sydney, Dallas without refueling. Landing distances vary depending on weight and environmental conditions but the plane can usually land within 5,500 feet or 1,675 meters. The combination of thrust reversers, aerodynamic braking via spoilers, and a comprehensive brake system enables the aircraft to decelerate quickly, ensuring a smooth and controlled landing on suitable runways. And finally, the base purchase price for a new Airbus A380-800 is $450 million before options. Thank you for staying with us till the end. Here are two videos you can watch next. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.